games are ushering in four new sports. That's right. Locally, there are athletes and businesses hoping that that exposure will change their sports on a global scale. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how that's happening. In the next month, two months, we'll see it. The trickle down of new Olympic sports uh, from Japan to Indiana. It legitimizes it more. At first, I didn't know how they would judge it, someone's ability on a skateboard. Minus skate shop owner Nick Holub. Seems weird to me. Was skeptical. Until skateboarding was announced as an Olympic sport. Things really changed as far as, so you want to do this one? The parents' attitude. The way they saw skaters. Athletes like Oliver Cahill. I think it might also help with like the stigma around it almost. All skateboarders do drugs. All skateboarders are alcoholics. It really is just a hobby and for a lot of people it's an outlet. Cahill teaches at Q Skate Park to children as young as four. The Olympics are. A whole nother level of like inspiration for some kids. Holub saying parents often ask for the cheapest boards. However, since the Olympic announcement, it's now. My son needs the best skateboard. My daughter needs the best skateboard. Do you have boards of street skating gold medalist Yuto Horigomi? And had someone text me today asking if I had any Yuto boards in. It's propelling skateboarding to new heights. Speaking of heights. Welcome to sport climbing, also making its debut. I don't think it's peaked yet. I think it's just getting started. Scott Boldine is with Epic Climbing and Fitness. Sport climbing Olympics, there's three aspects to it. There's speed climbing, bouldering, which is the shorter walls with no ropes, and then sport climbing. Climbing itself is accessible to all. One of my employees, Susan, likes to joke she started climbing at the tender age of 45. Even if some Olympians are climbing walls in mere moments. The professionals are going in up a 50 meter wall in about five seconds. Boldine often catches climbers watching their gym TV. Their mouths are open at what's going on, but it's pretty inspiring. The hope is people on their couch have the same reaction. We expect to see more people come in. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Well, sport climbing fans will have to wait until next week for the sport to officially make an appearance. That's when it's scheduled. Skateboarding still has a, the park competition, and that will also go next week.